Hello friends, welcome to Pegalan. So in previous video, we learned about the integration real time. There is one thing that we missed um, because of the lengthy of the video, we missed the out of the box REST APIs. Okay, what are the out of the box REST APIs and how can we use them? We will see in this video. Okay, now, so we created one REST service. Okay, we have one REST pol policy service as service package. Under that, we have one service test. When we call this service test by passing the request, we are getting the response. So we have Pega is providing few REST APIs, Pega APIs. When we go there, and let's change it to traditional APIs. We have the constellation TX APIs along with that. Okay, so what do we need to do is first suppose here we have the D underscore policy list in the policy system. And when we run this one, what happens? We get the list of policy records present in the policy system, right? We have three records and those three records under the PX reserve. See, we got it. Now, this, this data pair can be, we can use the out of the box REST API to pass, when we pass this data page as a parameter, we get the results. We will see how, okay? Let's get back to traditional APIs. In traditional APIs, we have the case types, okay? Get case types, and assignments, attachments, cases, get cases, and cases create new case. Like that, we have the data, data pages here. You see here? If we pass the write out by passing the a D underscore policy list and execute. See, we got all the results here. Let's see. When we see this endpoint URL, okay, copy this endpoint URL, come to this postman and click plus icon, use this. Here, get method and send it. Easily, we have not created any service package. We have not created any service rest, service activity, service rest activity. We simply pass this data page name. We are getting the result. Or suppose if I pass the DM score policy by calling the policy ID equal to P1, or directly P1, send it. We got the P1 results. When we pass P2, Results. This is the beauty of the out of the box REST APIs. So, what are these APIs? Means if you see here, API is the service package name. Same system, this is. Let's come here. And the service packages, when we go to service packages, API is the service package that out of the box given. When we go below, there are a lot of service REST tools available. Ours is data. Okay, data. ID. Okay. Now, basically, it is a basic authentication. Okay. It's a basic authentication. For our uh, testing purposes, I removed the basic authentication. So it's like a no authentication. That's the reason when we run in the postman, we are getting the result. Okay. Now, my use case is okay, in claims app, we have one policy list data table okay which should get the policy list of policy re policy records should be updated or refreshed for every one hour okay for that first step empty the policy list data table Second step, make API call to policy system and get all the results. Third, copy them to the policy list data table in claim system. This can be done using the job scheduler. Okay. So now our first step is we need to consume the this API. In policy system, we have the 
this out of the box api we can consume in the flame cell let me go to let me consume it so let's go to integration connectors connect rest integration okay policy list is the system this is the endpoint url and i'm not giving any resource like that click next it's a get method get policy list is the <clears throat> get policy lists policy records let me get policy records click next and add a rest response get method click on and we got the response a lot of other fields are also there but it's okay let's click submit okay click next and uh, we don't need the data layer for now click submit so class identifier is more than 25 characters that means this is more than 25 characters it is saying so we can remove it like policy read our policy the policy is fine it's okay policy is fine and uh, create okay done we got the connect rest rule this is the connect rest rule okay let's go back to this policy now let's create a database for calling the connect rest rule give the get policy records as a database name and create and open this is okay fine it's fine connector rest give the connect rest rule name and get the response here we need to create a response because we gave it like a page we gave it like a page list and uh, yeah still it is needed um this response so set policy list policy records response as a response data transform click and open open here it is passing the data source px results to the primary data px results means on the onto the database data source is something we get from the source application and we are passing it to our database save for now save it save it let's run it okay while running i'll put a tracer on run it see we did not get any px results here we will see why when i open this one px results are on the response underscore get they are not directly there they are on the response so we have three results and also it is not px results it's ppx results because in the latest versions it is ppx result if you see here one record second record third record under the ppx results under response get so what we have to do there we have seen data source mean nothing but d1 2 3 4 with this numbers this is the data source space under data source space let me open the response data transform here we should keep like this okay that means data source response get ppx results are the ones that should be map that we have to map to database px results done now let me run again okay flush and run see we got the results now we got all the results but there is no mapping why why because if you observe the response data from clearly it is not appending directly it is saying append and map to that means we mapping should be done manually policy name policy name policy id okay policy id policy name policy year policy type and the deductible amount same things copy here done 
Okay, so let me run again now. Launch, run, check the results. See, we have the results now. Done. First part is done. We first part is like uh, we have the API ready. How API is ready? We in service play claims app play, uh, in policy system. They provided one service. We consumed it. Connect rest using the connect rest. We consumed it. This is our API, and we have to use this API. Okay. Now let me go back and create the data type now. Okay. So in the data type, um, I have already created the data type one policy data type. If you see the records here. It has the policy ID, policy name, policy ID, director, and policy type delete. Okay. These are the this is the policy data table is ready in the claim system. Now we need to create a new job scheduler to delete the records and load the records. Okay. So update policy records. Is the job scheduler name and we are going to use the same activity name class is going to be this is the class okay update records and this can run in the background processing and it has to run only any one node and it has to run for every one hour context can be system runtime context done let's open the activity Create and open. So in the activity, what do we need to do? First step is delete all existing records. Second step, load all records from the API response. Okay. This is our goal. Existing records means we have the policy list database. Okay. And we can use this policy list results. So loop, loop through for each embedded page. Submit. The underscore policy results and give the same class name here. Next. Here, the below, insert below, property set. Property set the policy ID. Rendered policy ID dot policy ID. So from the results, the results will be loop and it has to be inside the loop, it will be like 1.1. Okay, let me add a child property set into the property set. Set the policy ID dot policy ID after property set we need to delete them right so for before doing obj open obj open by handle we cannot do because we don't have the pg and s keys okay policy page we are taking one policy page new page here giving the page name Given the class, talk, release and commit, you can give. Here, property name is policy ID is the key, primary key. So, policy ID. Now, next thing is OBJ delete. OBJ delete on the policy page. And uh, remove immediately. Okay. And then after do the pages remove. Page remove of policy page. So the first step is we are looping through the existing results, doing the OBJ open, OBJ delete and remove. That's it. Next thing, we have one data page, right? Already get policy records. You see there is a records. Get policy records is the database we have. 
and when we run it we get the results like px result right so we use this database to load them right so loop for each embedded page submit dot px results okay next add sibling add child okay now we can do page new this one and uh, we can copy this current page page copy the p policy page to the this current page to the policy page we are copying and then after simply we can do obj save okay of the policy page and immediately right now and then after we have to do the page remove see what happens in the first step the existing records will be deleted in the second step new records will be coming from the source system and they will be loaded here save it okay done run it let me trace close close that result on it there's an error why did we have the error because try to open when there is there are no records also okay that's fine now let's refresh and see how many records do we have uh, for, before that let me review save the this one refresh come to records and see we should have three records see we have the three records here let me go to the source system policy system in policy system in the policy data table there is one more record got added like p4 policy 4 into 24 50 dollars minimal okay now let me come back here in the claim system in claim system if you see we have only three records but when I execute this data job scheduler activity, done, completed successfully. Let's come back here and refresh. We got only three records here also. That is because of the, this might be existing, even though it is a thread level. We are running on our thread. So yeah, let me run again. If it did not load, then we have to trace and understand. We got the four results now. Okay, that's it. This activity is working. Now, okay, one setup is done. We have one interview question that I have um, mentioned in previous videos that the basic setup is ready now. I can explain. Okay, let's see in our next video. Thank you, friends. This is how we can uh, do the job scheduler, loading the database for every one hour using the job scheduler. And uh, we can use the out of the box case REST APIs. See you in the next video. Thank you, friends.